Sometimes when you've got no content, the only option is to just talk. Why not, right? I have a lot of trouble making videos because, well, I talk about a lot of stuff and I think about a lot of stuff, but when it comes to turning a camera on and doing it then, I just go blank. I don't know, I just have trouble thinking when I have to. And when I don't have to, I can't stop. I suppose because I worry about a lot of stuff. Like, I worry that just talking about something isn't going to be interesting enough and people aren't going to care and, or people aren't going to like what I have to say because what I have to say is a load of tosh. But that sort of thing just stops me being able to do a lot of stuff. Like, I was supposed to call the doctors to get a lung performance check thing because I don't know, I was freaked that I might have asthma or something. And I procrastinated that for so long that I'm out of time. Like, it's expired, the referral. It doesn't matter anyway. The doctor said it was probably all in my head. Um, I could still get a blood test. Probably. Have to call them as well. I chopped up half my hair the other day because I just don't like this. Ever. Like the number one thing you'll catch me doing if I've been feeling bad for a long time is chopping off my hair. I don't know, it's like a ritual. It's still shit. I could still chop some of it off to be honest. I think the worst thing is that everyone sort of expects a more positive outlook on things and I don't have much of that. I mean, 90% of my humour comes from hatred <laughs> of everything. I had an idea for a video about how I'm just made of salt and jealousy, but I don't know if I'm willing to put that much effort in, to be honest. And it's sad because I want to be able to put that much effort in. I think my bedroom's the most depressing thing because it's so small and the bed is so isolated so I can't just lay down and feel comfortable because if I lay down then I'd have to get back up again at some point and it's too much effort once I've gotten up there and I don't want to waste the time I've got down here. Which makes it sound like I die when I go up on the bed, but, you know. And I want to go back into therapy for these things. I want to fix something, but everything is so hard. Everything's so hard, I can't... I used to make positive videos about having hope and doing little things to make yourself feel better but I thought about making them again because at the time they used to help me as much as anyone else but just the thought of it just makes me feel sick it's it's wrong it's not I don't believe what I say anymore college will be over in a couple of months I'll be forced to adult go and get a job which is something I've been trying to do for a while. I'm probably not trying as hard as I could. I don't know. I can't do things without people there to encourage me or support me or do it for me and I can't, I can't live like that. People aren't gonna be around to look after me all the time. I can't be so dependent. But whenever I try to do things on my own, I... I don't know how to do them. I mean, I know how, but I don't know. I just can't. And saying you just can't and you don't know why is, is exactly how people turn around and just say you're handing out excuses and stuff. And the more people say that I'm just making excuses and I don't really want to do these things the more I believe them and the less I do them. So 
I'm kind of stuck. I know I can do it. I know I can do things. I know what my limits are. I know myself better than people think I do, but it's not a wall I have to climb over. It's it's more like wading across the sea. I can't even do the things I want to do. I want to do YouTube, I want to do music, but I don't even know why I'm making this video, to be honest. Intention seeking? Probably. Cry for help? Who knows? Gotta make some kind of hashtag content now, don't I? So here, I have some hashtag content. I don't know, maybe someone can hashtag relate. 